Hello and welcome. We had already plotted the shear force diagram and below it we are supposed to plot a bending moment diagram but for us to plot the bending moment diagram we need to determine the values of all the bending moments at all the points on our overhanging beam and in this case we have bending moment calculations remember bending moment is given by log times distance units kilo newton meter now we are going to begin on the right hand side by determining the bending moment at point e which in this case is going to be zero since we have the load but we don't have the distance therefore that's going to be zero then the bending moment at point b bending moment at point b is going to be uh, 100 kilonewtons times the distance from E to B which in this case will be negative 100 since that is a clockwise moment that is on the overhanging end multiplied by a span of 4 that is going to be negative 400 kilonewton meter from there we go to bending moment at point D so bending moment at point D Again, that's going to be negative 100 kilonewtons times the distance from E to D, which is 9.5 meters. So, times 9.5 plus an anti-clockwise moment of 165.3 kilonewtons multiplied by the distance from B to D, which is 5.5 meters 5.5 meters therefore this is going to be negative 950 plus 165.3 times 5.5 that is going to be 909.15 which is negative 40.85 kilo newton meter therefore that is the bending moment at point D. Then uh, here we have a point M. That is the point or the position of the maximum bending moment. And therefore, we are going to determine the value of the maximum bending moment. Which again is one of our questions. Find the value of the maximum bending moment. So this is how we determine the value of the maximum bending moment. We are going to take moments about point M by taking negative 100 times the distance from E to M. Therefore, that is going to be negative 100 times. The distance from uh, E to M will be 9.5 meters plus 2.18 meters, which is... Uh, 11.68 meters plus we have an anti-clockwise moment of 165.3 kilo newtons 165.3 kilo newtons times the distance from uh, B to D to M which in this case is B to D which is 5.5 times D to M, which is 2.18, and that is going to be 7.68 meters, 7.68 meters. Then, between point D and the point of maximum bending moment, we have a uniformly distributed load of 30 kilonewtons per meter over a span of 2.18 meters. Therefore, we are going to have 30 point, uh, I mean 30 uh, minus 30 times the span of 2.18. So when you multiply the UDL times the span over which it is distributed, that is converting the UDL to point load times half 
that span. Therefore, 2.18 divided by 2. Since this point cloud is going to act at the midpoint of point D and point M. Therefore, this is going to give us the following. Negative 100 times 11, uh, 0.68, that is negative 11.68. Plus 165.3 times 7.68, that is going to be 1269.5. Minus 30 times 2.18 times 2.18 divided by 2, that is going to be... Um, 71.28 which in this case is going to give us a maximum bending moment of 30.2 kilo newtons therefore that is the value of the maximum bending moment then from there we calculate the moment at point A. Now, to get the bending moment at point A, we are going to take moments about point A from point C. Therefore, this is going to be negative 30, which is the UDL. Remember that is a clockwise, uh, uh, that will be a clockwise moment. Therefore, negative 30 times um, the span over which it is distributed, that is 3 meters times half that span since this UDL that, uh, of negative 30 when you multiply it by the span over which it is distributed you have converted it to point rod then that point rod will act at the midpoint of C and A which in this case it is a span of 3 meters divided by 2 therefore this is going to give us negative 135 kilo newton meter therefore we now have the bending moments at all the points on our beam then we are going to use uh, those bending moments calculations to plot a bending moment below this shear force diagram now uh, as usual we are going to have a horizontal a line which is the line of zero bending moment starting with the bending moment at E which is zero the bending moment at B negative 400 therefore we can take it at that point so we are going to connect those two points with a smooth slope so at that point we have 400 kilo newton meter in this case negative then we have the bending moment at point d which is negative 40.85 therefore if we assume that it is at that point we connect that point to the 400 kilo newtons at b so this is going to be 40.85 kilo newton meter then we have the maximum bending moment of 30.2 kilo newtons which will be plotted above this horizontal line therefore 30.2 approximately that point so this one we are going to join the points with a smooth curve, a smooth curve like that. Since the point between D and M is loaded with a uniformly distributed load, therefore we are going to have a smooth curve in that form. Then from there we have the bending moment at point A, which in this case is negative. 135 kilo newton meter therefore come at point a negative 135 approximately that uh, point then again we are going to join the 
30.2 kilo newton meter to the 135 kilo newton meter with a smooth curve since that section is also carrying a uniformly distributed rod then finally we have the bending moment at c which is zero the bending moment at this point is zero therefore bending moment at c which is zero we connect it to the bending moment at a which is negative 135 kilo newton meter we connect it with a smooth curve again which in this case hogs so we call that point uh, that uh, curve a hogging curve then down here we are going to write bmd to denote bending moment diagram then inside this bmd we are going to write negative and this one is positive then to make our diagram to be uh, very much uh, visible we are going to shade off the outline in this form so that the bending moment diagram becomes very 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 visible yep very visible therefore ladies and gentlemen that is how a bending moment diagram for an overhanging beam like this one we have here is usually plotted therefore we appreciate for you stopping by to watch our video if you have loved it if you have liked it please remember to subscribe to our channel hit the notification bell so that whenever we upload a new video you'll be the first person to be notified therefore we thank you very much